Hello, family and friends. Welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird, here for you guys. And this is going to be for all signs. If you need anything personal from me, everything you need to know is down below in the description box on how to get you booked in. All right, FYI, they are Zoom readings, cash app payments. You do have to have your audio on your camera doesn't have to be on on your zoom readings all right to get your reading so you know um also make sure you are subscribed to your aries only placement channels if you need to see where aries is in your charts cafeastrology.com and it will also be linked down below guys okay to find out where aries is in your chart to apply those messages over there aries only placement love tarot is open for you it is also welcome into the cross watchers so if you are um connecting to an arian okay or you know your person have anywhere aries in their chart as well those resonate those messages will resonate with you guys <clears throat> all right now let's get into this thing all right it's for all sides these are general here so please only take what is for you guys and simply leave what is not all right. The energy is flowing. It will fluctuate back and forth also between your four signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node energies. Third party energy will be sun, moon, and rising, okay? All right, let's jump in. Let's see, honey. Let's take a big bite, a big chunk out of it. Someone here wants to take a big bite, a big chunk out of it? Child, what? Damn, what's going on, y'all? All right. Yeah. They do. They've been thinking a lot about you. This thing, this King of Candles. They said that Ace of Swords, and here it is. That's the truth. This person wants to take a big bite out of you. All right, let's see what's going on, honey. What is y'all doing? I don't know. Somebody here wants to play in your hair. Also, your ancestors play in your hair. They might be. You might feel your ancestors or your spirit team touching you. It's this person. Yeah. The Six of Potions, again, with the Ace of Lightning. The Six of Cups is this person. Now, I'm going to say this. This person can deal with, like, athlete's feet or foot odor as well. Someone here could also be having, like, toenail fungi, especially if your person is, like, athletic. All right. Hmm, what the hell? Child, what y'all got going on? This person got feelings for you. Yeah, the Night of Lightning. Somebody here wants to come towards you. Period. They feel connected with you. This can also be someone here that needs to justify something with you. That's what they've been holding on to. All right? This is someone that wants to hold on to you. Someone here could be like a driver or something. This could be access. This could be a school bus, pat bus, Uber, Lyft. You could even just got out of an Uber or Lyft. Or you took an Uber or Lyft this week. Yeah, this King of Potions person got feelings for you. Oh, somebody here wonders if you are playing with their head they could think you got somebody else this could be a scorpion a libra or an Aries, or a tesorian all right hold on guys let me take this off child but this could be so someone here also thinks um wants to give you an offer yeah uh-uh they think you being sneaky honey seven of swords or three of potions <laughs> going on yep suspension and hangman so they ain't moving that's why they haven't moved towards you empress or emperor this person could know that you're their empress or their emperor this could be your you know this could be your twin flame or your soulmate a mate to your soul this person also um screenshots pictures of you too so you know that they sure do they look at pictures of you someone here screenshots and stares at your pictures what the fuck Suspension is also the hangman. <laughs> I mean, we, uh, I mean, I mean, you know, we all got our things. So they keep pictures of you in their phone, but they could stare at them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's just see. Hold on now. Let's just see. Ooh, two cards for you. The chariot and into the potion. They want to come towards you. Yeah. Someone here wants to come towards you. They want to come to your house, your home, your residence. This can even be somebody um, that they know. Someone here is thinking about coming to a family member's house of yours or somebody that you consider family. Because they're in their feelings about you, honey. They are. Yep. The Knight of Pentacles. They've been, they're slowly going towards this. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Pumpkins and a Lover's Card. 
Oh, they're scared you got somebody new. They're scared that you um you could have started talking to somebody new. Now, uh, I'm getting two energies here for others of you guys. This is somebody new. This is somebody who wants to know you. They take screenshot pictures of you. They also, uh, you know, they kind of want to introduce you to their family. Um, they could want to invite you over. Uh, you guys, you know, share family friends. They could also want to know what their family thinks about you. This is somebody, this king of potions is moves fast because they fill a cup for you. They feel like that's your marriage material with the empress energy. Yeah, the strength card. They feel like this could be, uh, they feel like you're very strong. They see that you're a strong person. Someone here also sees you as like a good parent and a potion to empress, um, like the mother to their children. Yeah, somebody here, they see this with you. This is why this, this is a relationship from a new person that's going to move in quickly. Now, for some of you guys, this is going to bother, bother your ex. They could possibly feel this person. So you do know that um, here. But um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, others of you guys, this is some somebody here like you. This person here uh, follows you quickly online. They take screenshots of you. This might be a little weird. They have pictures of you in their phone, in their camera. Um, someone here's name could be like Damien. Um, someone here's name could be, I'm seeing Matt. Someone here also could have a pet name, Max, or some shit like that, or they used to. I don't know that's crazy, right? That came out of nowhere. Um, this is also someone here that is, um, very well, this empress, someone here likes your smells. They wonder what colognes you wear. They wonder, they just wonder what life would be like if you guys were in a relationship or some shit like that. Now, for others of you guys, this is also somebody here. This person has a lot of colognes, a lot of smell goods. Um, they keep yourself, uh, smelling very, very good. So, you know, um, they want to leave a good impression. Someone here can be a little bit of OCD. They said obsessive. This person is very tedious. Their house smells good. Their car smells good. Um, someone here vacuum, vacuum their car like once a week or some shit like that. This person wants to grow something big with you um, here. This is what they think, okay? Um, this is in there. This is what they want to do. Why I say that? There's no ones here. This is somebody that haven't took action yet. Um, here, here. This person has paid attention to your features, your face. Someone here kind of likes your eyes. They like your hair. Someone here thinks you got a cute little nose. They just said. Child, they is paying attention. Now you don't. When you post pictures, you're covered up. This person even pays attention to the bags under your ass, honey. Well, damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. When you take pictures, you're pretty covered up. Some of you guys could start to see a couple gray hairs or something like that. But they notice this. They But they want to see more. Someone here want to see what your titties look like and everything. If you're a man, they want to know what your muscles look like. Child, we got to get this angel number. What is going on, child? We got strong Aries. You could be connected to an Aries. We got Tessorian. We got Piscean. We got Gemini. We got Scorpion and Libra in here. We got Leo, Virgo. All my earth benders are here. Okay, Tessorian, Virgo, or Capricorn, Gemini. Energy as well. Let's get this angel number. Okay. So, when it comes to your angel number, I'm picking up... Uh, these are a lot of major arcanas. Hold on, child. Ten is your angel number. 
This is somebody that you have. This is a past life soulmate. You haven't connected with this person in this lifetime yet. That's why they feel so connected to you, feel family oriented to you. You guys have past history from another past life. This is why this is going to move so fast. You're going to feel home because they, you guys have a soul connection. Damn. Okay. Okay. Okay, so 10 um, is a completed cycle as well. Some of you guys have completed a cycle. This person is completed a cycle. 10 represents 1. 0 being nothing is a new beginning. But I'm going to actually read it for you guys. I'll write a couple of things for the angel number 10. You have reached a period of completion and that any hard work will soon pay off and set you on the path towards your next spiritual awakening. Some of you guys are going deeper into your spiritual awakening. Or this person is. And this is why they're getting you. Now, 1120, as I'm going to say this. 11 minutes and 20 seconds. This is you because you're the empress. Yeah. Um, You have a chance to focus your mind on creating positive changes in your life and manifesting your deepest desires. You have manifested a true soulmate. Um, this person is already in your energy. This person has already been watching you online. This person already has pictures of you um, in their phone. I just heard tablet. Uh, so the universe knows that you are ready. You just completed a cycle. You're ready. You have to cheer it in the Ten of Cups. The universe is saying you're ready for your soul being. This soulmate. So this is somebody that is coming in for you. Now this could be this King of Cups could uh, have a very young inner child. This someone here's a driver. Yeah, this is also could be uh, their dad, a deceased, the loved one that used to be a driver, um, or used to drive some sort of way. If this person is like an Uber driver or something like that, driving also could be like in their blood, in their family, something like that. This is also someone here that could drive like Greyhounds or something. Um, here, what is this? We got the Four of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this person here, yeah, they wonder if you're going to like them. That's why they're stuck. This is someone here, four of cups and the six of pentacles. This person might have low self-esteem. Yep. That's why they're coming towards you slowly. Ugh. I don't understand that. Hold on. Let's take a look at this king. Let's look at this king of pushes. Hold on. I'm seeing my golden tarot. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, the king of cups. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on, the king of cups and the queen of cups. And the king of pistols. Someone here might not be your type. Yeah. King of pentacles in reverse to the queen of pentacles as well. Someone here could have, um, you could have just got out of a bad relationship. Or you got out of a relationship. Hold on, y'all. Let me straighten out my cards. I don't feel like pausing the video. Let me just straighten them out for you guys real quick. Um, Because we need to look at this person. What's this king of uh, potions? This person is... uh Oh, thank you. As soon as I did it. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is him, the king of pentacles. Oh, yeah, honey. They are not proud of... um. This person could have let their self go. They might not have dated in a while. Or, yep, the high priest is in reverse. Yeah. They might not be your type. This also is someone that could have bad habits or some shit like that. What's the high priest is in reverse? Hmm. Also, this could be someone here that um is, you know, lacking money or something like that too. Yep, this person don't have a no job. They don't got no job. They can't. They something. Yeah, honey. Oh. They could feel like the timing is off for the time of connection. What's the high priestess in reverse? Yep, they do. The four ones in reverse to the seven of cups. 
mm, the three of pentacles in reverse. They could feel like you're going to want other options and not work for them because they could feel like if this is a bad time. Man. Something is off with this person's finances. Money, funny, money ain't right. They're not ready. Yeah, they're not ready for a relationship. Ten of Pentacles. They're not. Um, the moon in reverse. So that's what they're going to have for you. They could, you know, want to introduce you to family. Still bring you over. This is to kind of keep you close. Kind of keep you near. They want to make you feel like a wifey. All these things. But they can't actually give you that life. This is somebody here. They, they ain't got no job. Their money's funny. Yeah, the Empress in reverse. Just the yeah, and the Eight of Wands. They could. They don't want you to end up resenting them. What else is coming out the Moon card? What else is coming out the Moon card? Oh, yeah, the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, yep, Knight of Swords. This is somebody here that feel. Sorry, guys, spiritual burps. Even though they feel all of this, they still want to make a quick move towards you. That's also the Knight of Swords. They have a bigger inner child, Ten of Cups in reverse. This person it feels like they got to know if this works. They got to take a chance. They got to, yep, Eight of Wands. They want to still take a chance, or how would they ever know? Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Somebody here is like the worst thing that could happen is it just doesn't work out or you just don't want them. Not the ones in reverse. You don't want it. Yeah, not a pentacles in reverse. Yeah, ace of swords in reverse. This is someone here that is going to tell you could you know you might feel like they kind of manipulated you or lied to you a little bit and they they did yeah they did because you could have been like well you know because this is someone is someone here. Um, is manipulative because this is someone that wants to show you all the things of why you should stay, but they don't have the things that keep you to stay. So what they're going to do is make you feel this first. So you want the relationship and then they're going to show you what they really have and what they're really about. And right now they can't offer you much, but they're like, well, we got true love, you know, but we got this. They could make you feel that. The problem is, it's like, look, I understand that. I, I, you, I met your family. I know you're serious. But when we are building a life or when we are trying to connect to one another to manifest, there's certain things that you should know to tell me. So you might still, you know, be third because you're the empress with this person. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Like... You still need to let me know. You know damn well you should have told me that. Something like that is here. Bottom of this deck. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. It might make you take a step back. Someone here also want to use that for their game. It's like, oh, so you base love, love off money. Ace of Pentacles, Lover's Card. But this is like also part of their plan. You need to be thorough with this person. No, I don't. But I need to know where we stand. Like you didn't say, you know, that you were, you know, you need that we, for us to come together and to build a relationship, you know, it would, it's going to, you don't have finances or you don't have, yeah, it's ding, ding, that's your confirmation. Something like that is here. So this is someone here, it's like they're they're extremely, it's like pulling wool over your eyes in a sense. But you're still going to feel obligated to stay. You're, some of you guys are going to still try to make this work. That's the whole plan. But they know if they tell you off the rip, to be honest with you, let's hit the damn yeah, button. Hey, and they just keep it a being with you. Look, I ain't got no money. I ain't got a job. I ain't working. I ain't working, uh, you know, right now. You might have to pay all the bills or some shit like that. You wouldn't... Um, you might just walk away from them. <sighs> okay, something like that. Especially if this person could have like a five, nine, one, four, or two, um, anywhere like in their address. Shit, your number, your address, where you used to work, or where you work, where they used to work, street address or something. Is specific. This can even be like your kid's number. The numbers, these numbers could be specific to you. Because uh, uh, some of you guys um, could have like a teenager. I am picking that up. Some of you guys could have two teenagers. They could have a teenager child. You could have a teenage child. 
This is also someone that wants to get you. It's like they're going to get you under their family, under their kids. It's like the, the, the hangman. And this is all to get you to stick with them. This is energy manipulation. I got to say this. It's This is like... I don't want to say it's a mental spell. It's, I mean, it's, 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 it's trickery though. It's just some trickery shit. Okay. It's, it is. I mean, it, 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 it's a level, it's a level of it. Sometimes it's not what you do. It's how you do it. It's how this person is going to do it. And this is somebody, this person is slick. They're smooth. This is something that you might need to keep open in this uh, connection, open out on. Because they know how to get people stuck what they want um, here. And this is someone here. Yeah, they'll say something real quick and fast, too, to make you think. But y'all be talking about one thing. The next thing, they'll switch it up. You'll be like, but you didn't say. And then they'll switch it up. Oh, okay, so you, you, so, yeah. So this is about money. You really, you do want a based off money. It is this. Because if, if that's the only thing we're missing here, so what the fuck is the problem? And it's like, wait a minute, but you wasn't honest. It's like they don't, they're not honest about what's going on, but they don't want to say it like that. They hid it from you, but they're not going to admit it like that. That's the damn it. Damn it, not again. And for some of you guys, this is going to happen twice. It's going to happen again before you realize this. So this is something here that can keep you twice before you catch on. Now, for some of you guys, you're in your second spiritual awakening so this is somebody that's very very clever here to get this past the empress but see the thing about it empress don't feel bad because it's like this you might not have catch it the first time and some shit might get through the second time but it's like uh uh hold up so you ain't say all uh, now th yeah this is what this is something about a home be careful of somebody wanting to get you in a home and then it's like did they switch up? Mm. And th this is somebody new. A lot of you guys got new energy around you guys. Um, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's what this is looking like. Yeah, I'm going to just look at you real quick. Because this person's money is slow, they could not, um, you know, they could spend money on you, but it'll be like a lot of money in lump sums. Like, for example, you know, what this person might not spend a lot money a lot. Like, eight times out of ten, they might not spend nothing on you. But when they do spend money on you, it will be something that's, um, like, heart set or something like that. I, I, listen, I don't even, I, I don't know. What's the imp Yep, you make this person happy. I told you. And this is someone here, to be quite honest with you, they want a baby with you. This person could still even want kids. Yep, this King of Pentacles, they do. Oh, Yeah. And I told you, for some of you guys, you got a uh, two, you got an a ex. They keep saying an ex. Yep, the real card. Someone coming back from your past that you was distant from. All right, also coming back in. Told you, you got like an ex here. Yep, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that you used to be in a relationship with. You got the king and the queen, the queen of pentacles here. This can also remind you of a relationship you got out, out of. This could uh, also be this person that still got an ex here. Just like here. Yep, that's want to sneak back in as well. Child. What the hell? What else is going on here? Yeah. So, and that was picking that up earlier. So, just be careful of that. And for some of you guys, like I said, this is going to remind you of a relationship you was in before. Yep. Someone here wanted to make you their main woman. They want to make you their only, their main female. Um. Yep. Great fortune. Pathway. This person is coming towards you. Mm. Yep. This is an official person. Uh, you got an ex and a new person, yo. You got an official person and a mature man. Someone here got masked. So I told you, this person knows how to mask 
yourself or master attentions. Be before you see it, you they already got you. You're already in a hangman position. It's like, so, you know, here, someone could be an ascendant master of 22, so they mastered something. This is how they became the official person. They know how to master, like, energies is what this is. Yeah, you don't see that at first. Also, you got somebody coming back from your past here. That wants you back. This is somebody here that didn't give into the relationship that they could be ready to give in now. Look, look at this. Mature man and mature woman is also here. You get there's peers here. Yep. You got two people coming towards you. Now you also this could be them having somebody from their past and you having somebody from your past that wants y'all both back. Two six five six is also an angel number here. Show. I'm seeing this deck. Let's see this person's feelings and emotions towards you. I don't know. Friend request. Someone here wants to send you a friend request. We got aftermath love. F you. There's an ex here that you could have fucked. It was like fuck off or gave the middle finger to. Yeah, this new person is, is going to send you a friend request. This is somebody that's on Facebook. This could be somebody that already sent you a friend request. This is how they see you and they feel. But uh, the ones here, they haven't took any action towards you, but they want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Friend request. Mm -hmm. So for some of you guys, you can expect a friend request or you've been getting friend requests from somebody. This is somebody you've been getting friend requests from. Love like fire, honey. They like you. They want to love you like some fire. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. Yeah, no out. worries allowed. Now, that's what I'm getting. For some of you guys, you guys saw a, a one man, one woman here that wants to, you know, love you like fire. And you got somebody else that want to come back. But I don't think you want this person, this ex from your past. Yep. These are both people that's dreaming of you. Could be playing in your dreams. For some of you guys, you don't know this. Yeah. Someone here was playing games from your past here. Yep. You're seeing their true colors. And you could not want to fuck with this person from the past no more. Mm -hmm. This ex could come in with flowers or they want to buy you something. Yeah, but they were playing games at one point in time. They might still be playing some kind of game or some kind of game to at least like get you back. Yeah, let's get some letters. All right, for the new person, and we're going to get some letter for the ex person. Okay, this new person's a tall person or a big person or both. Okay, someone here could be a Nephilim. Very tall, very big, both. They could be tall and very thick and very big. We got Archangel Samuel, the devil card. This person's obsessed with you. <laughs> yeah. And we got Archangel Zakiel, Judgment. And karma. Someone here is getting karma. Yep. This is your ex's karma losing you to somebody who wants you. Oh, um, this person does have a cup for you, but they ain't taking no action right now because of their finances. Some of you guys might have to manifest together. Like, you know how you have to compromise, guys. So you might have to, like, compromise with somebody. Uh -huh. When I see this, I know that all the cards didn't came out that needed to. Someone here could be from out of town. What are you, your ex can even be from out of town. Someone here could be from the suburbs. Huh. Someone here also could be like a Capricorn. Yeah, this new person is the Ace of Pentacles Earth energy as well. This is also someone I heard that could be like kind of mad that they are not where they want to be. Oh, well, no, they don't want me to use these cards, guys. We're going to use the other cards here. All right, y'all. So you got them. No one compares to you. Need time to heal. This is someone that needed time to heal. All right, beautiful. All these messages for the collective. Is there written messages for the collective? Let's see. This could be happening. Um, this person could reach out to you under the next moon cycle. New or full moon. What's the written messages from 
this person. This isn't goodbye. Yeah, first, there's an ex here too, y'all. Showing out that's going to try to show their ass because you're moving on. Or they feel you moving on. Yeah, this person feel like they healed from whatever y'all been through. Yeah. Y'all run away. Uh, they feel like you're getting away. Or you want to run away. Tell me the new person written messages. What's the written messages? For this person, please. Someone here is nervous. You make this person nervous. They're also attracted to your intelligence. Someone here could be a sociopath. They think you're very smart, attractive. I heard beauty. All right. Some of you guys could own a big uh, black straw hat, beach hat, sun hat, or something like that. You could have just wore one. It. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so we got let me go. Is it true I heard you were dating someone else? Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Now, I told you, someone from your past, this is why their energy's in here, because they're going to try to sabotage this connection. They might try to um tell this person that y'all are dating or there's some way this person's going to hear about um this person. They're going to try to make it seem like y'all still dating or some shit. Yeah, because you got an ex that's obsessed with you. What the fuck? Yup, and they want you to unblock them. You got this person on block. So be careful. Because someone here could know that you're about to move on. You're going to try to find out who you're moving on to try to block this connection. This person's going to try to lie and say that you guys uh, are still dating or some shit like that. This could um, come between you and your new person. And you guys might like go through like something. Because of your ex. This could be their ex. Trying to get to you to tell you them. Or tell you that you know. They might have did something. Or they wasn't all the way over. Or some shit. This is to block y'all. So you know. Yeah something like that is here. Take it how it resonates. Okay these cards. Mm. What's the love oracle messages? It's a love oracle. Some of you guys could have had a peppermint. This could have been a big, thick peppermint. Um, some of you guys could have had one of them macaroon cookies. Also, some of you guys could have just had some cotton candy. Some of you guys could have met this person around Valentine's Day or something. Okay. What's the love oracle messages? I heard unrequired love. I just saw that. Yep, heart to heart conversation. Someone, there's an ex here that uh, you lost chemistry for, or y'all lost chemistry for each other, or lost the connection that wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you, honey. They are trying to block you from in this new connection. Oh, like they're not playing something like that. What's what's here? What's the love oracle? Mm. Mm. Your true love. This is your true love. Yep. And it's because you completed a cycle. It's be, um, You earned this coming in. What's this? Yep, make the effort in reverse. Someone here has to make the effort. This is somebody, you know, I, they keep saying this. This person is ready to make some kind of action towards you. But this is what keeps them away. Yes, they are a little bit manipulative here. But this is because they are into you. They might be embarrassed where they are. That doesn't make it right. You might feel, you know, like a little you know, weary or unappreciative or some shit like that. But this person wants you, they got a cup for you and they're ready to take action. You got an ex here that is ready to block this by all means, motherfucking necessary. Yep, retreat. Soulmate, yeah, this is a soulmate. This person wants to get lost with you. They are attracted to you, honey. They got screenshots of you and everything. Attraction, yeah. Romantic feelings, yeah. That's it. So there's an ex here that is about, yep, they just confirmed that for me. They are about to lose you to somebody, honey. All right, these cards, they're showing me. Yeah, they about to use you to somebody, honey. They about to lose you. Yep, perfect storm. Step into the card to a perfect storm. This is when a person, this is an ex that's ready that's going to want to step up. But this is going to be a perfect storm because you got somebody here that truly loves you. Uh, yep, teachability. 
44. This is a lesson that well, you learned a specific lesson. There could have been a lesson that you learned in this ex to let them go. You could have finally let that cycle go. And that's why you're getting this person. Now, you still, you know, ain't nobody perfect. So everybody got their own individual struggles. Somebody here could have a blockage to money or struggle with finances and stability. Yes, that is challenges because you got to live. So you guys might have to come up with like how to manifest shit with each other. Yeah, right. Use of, of power and the courage to step into the storm. Someone here is going to try to take power back over you. Yeah, look at this. I can't make this up. Rice use of power, sacred contract. You got an ex soulmate and a new soulmate. Um, one of these could be a twin flame. Mm. Yep, well, the what they've been watching you. <laughs> they've been watching this whole situation. They, you got an ex that's ready to make a move as soon as you make a move towards a new connection. All right. the oracle messages here yeah that's what this is stop someone here um also doesn't want me to give this message something about stop tarot you can have an ex i picked that up on my last reading that you were getting clarifications in tarot and they don't like that <laughs> oh shit yep transparent trans personal the watcher this person is watching you um, yep, beginner's mind, meditation and stillness, new beginning, something about the new moon, I just saw that, they said just show that, okay, so that's what they, that's how the cards came out, so yeah, meditation is still, you cleared something, you could have also changed a mindset, yeah, and you're getting this new beginning, that's why you can manifest what you think, because your perception is actually your reality. Yep, you transmuted pain. You sure the fuck did. This was from this ex. They might feel this. They might know this, and they. This is why they want to come in. Yep, the divine matrix. Now you're in the. You're in the divine matrix. You have. Um, you're on your second course of your spiritual awakening. I just saw diving into deeper tests, but they keep saying leave the cards like this. So I am. Gotta do what I gotta do, baby. All right, let's get through signs and planets. All right, this is signs and planets. You, this ex, or this new person you about to get in, honey. And some of you guys could have transferred pain. Um, the red moon? Some of you guys look up which one was the red moon. I don't feel like pausing the video right now. Because you guys know how I get down um, here. Uh, yeah, the red moon or something like that. Okay, the harvest moon as well is what they just said. Okay, okay I lied. Let me look up the red moon, child. Damn. I can't stand myself. Let me look it up. Oh, guys, yes. I said the red, the red moon. Some call it an old saying is the red moon. But it's also the blood moon. All right. Okay, so this is happening, or this happened under the blood moon. All right. Damn, I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, that's your confirmation. All right, some of you guys, I, 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 okay, now you, I forgot to look up exactly dates of when it happened. Something like that. Yeah, rebirth, the death card. So this ex don't want to rebirth, honey, but you about to get into a whole nother contract. Yep. That's why the covenant came out the contract card, child. You communication. Now, for some of you guys, this is also going to happen under like. So what I'm getting is something about the blood moon coming in and after Mercury retrograde. Or one of the retrogrades after the red moon. Because Mercury's not the only planet that goes in a retrograde. All the planets are, you know, um, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, right? So this is under. Okay, so whenever the blood moon, which is the red moon, came in, they said vice versa. So whenever the red moon, right, the red moon. So whenever the red moon, which is also the blood moon, is something we call it more currently. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love you so much. Came in. Whatever planet went in retrograde after that. 
okay? It could be also the first time Mercury goes in retrograde after this red moon, okay? That this energy came in. Yeah. We got angel number 2221 also here, something like that. We also have Sagittarian here, Gemini, Scorpion. This is a big um, shift that's about to happen because someone held something big. They had a rebirth. They completed a cycle. They had a death. They let something go. And it was able to bring in something new. All right, guys. I love you all um, so very much. Stay dope. I hope this helped you out in more ways than one. All right, guys. Also, 41 breaking out to fab is change. This is change coming in, baby. All right. Don't forget to connect your frequency and your energy to your tarot readings. Like and subscribe and share and commenting, and uplifting each other down below are all donations to the channels. I love you all. Stay dope. And I'll catch you next time you stop by in your next video upload, baby. I'll share your name. Huh?